Please welcome back to our show, Tyrese Gibson. <laughs> one of the worst best relationships ever. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> I don't know. When We've been through it over the years, <laughs> over the years. It, Not just it, this talk show, but the yeah. radio and the whole bit. Yeah. But we mature. Yeah. And I, I still love you. I love you too, Black Tie. I still love you. It's just that, you know. Wendy, listen. I gotta be me. It takes, uh, it takes a certain kind of person to be in the industry growing up as the whole world is watching. Uh, yeah. We all just want to go platinum and drive nice things, but when them valleys and them lows come, you know, they're gonna congratulate you and then contribute to the beat down when it happens. You got a job to do, so you got to report the stuff. Uh, it, thank you, Ty. So, I love you. Thank you. Shoe cam, please. Wow. Wait, no, pull up your pants. What is that? What is that? Is that a booty? What is that? Yeah, Pull up your pants, uh, I want to see. Yeah, I want to see everything. This, this goes up. Oh, wow. And, uh, you know, yeah, it's got a little vibe on it. Yeah. <laughs> they look expensive. Yeah, yeah. How much were they? How much were they? Yeah, about. These are uh, 1300 Yeah. <laughs> Those are like a one-time wear, though. No, no, I wear these. Uh, I was wearing these at baggage claim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on your new marriage and your new baby. Thank you. I haven't seen you since then. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah. So how's life for you? Your wife is beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Where'd you oh, meet her? My God. Um, you know, I met on her. On Instagram? No. Where'd you meet if her? If I did, I'd tell you. Um, I met her uh, at a restaurant, actually. And, Do um, tell. Yeah, I met her at a restaurant. I, uh, I squinted my eyes. I, I did, uh, you know, I, I put the <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? I came with the, you know, <laughs> you good? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hit her with the, you know, I hit her with the one, too. Yeah. Um, it worked, you know, chocolate is spreading. Yes, no, <laughs> your, your, and, and your daughter, your daughter turned one? Yes. This month? Yes. Did you have a, a, a beautiful baby? Thank you. How, did you have a big party, like that Hollywood style thing that people no, no, spend no, money no, on? No, no. You know, the thing is, when the kids is too young, if you go spend, you know, a hundred thousand, a million dollars on the party, they never gonna remember. No! It. The party was for you. Look Good at for you. My baby. Oh, she's so cute. What's her name? This is Soraya. Soraya. Oh. <laughs> I can't take it. I can't focus on this interview if y'all gonna keep showing pictures of my angel, y'all. Now, wait. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. Have you gained a few pounds? Yes. Me too. Yeah, this is, uh... Now, why did you do it for a roll or because you're just eating? No, I'm just grown. <laughs> Things happen. Yeah, I'm grown. Yeah, I like it. You look terrific. You know, listen, it's, it's, uh, when you're How grown, old are you now? I'm 40. Okay, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, when you're 40, it's pretty. You ain't really out here trying to shoot music videos showing everything you used to show. Yeah. You know, that's for the youngsters, man. Let them, let them go get all that out there, sister. Yeah. I'm grown. I just want to sing to you, touch your fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't do nothing else anymore, but... So, the late John Singleton is godfather, what, what was godfather to your yeah, daughters? absolutely. Oh. Yeah, just, uh, he came to the house and was spending all this quality time yeah. with, with my angel and, uh, you know, Jesus. Yeah, I'm still, uh, I'm still trying to process this. Yeah, that was you a know, hard when one. You showed the trailer of the Black and Blue movie. This would be my first movie um, without John. Wow. Um, just last night, Wendy, I was on the red carpet with Naomi Harris and our director, Dion. And uh, I looked to my left and my right, and I really had a moment in the middle of taking pictures. You know how sometimes you're there, but your brain is somewhere else? Yes. I was like, damn, John is not here. 
I can't call him. I can't uh, give he him any updates. He invented you. I mean, Jesus invented uh, No, no, when I say that, when I say that, I mean, past the Coca-Cola commercial with you yeah. sitting in the back of the bus, yeah. everything that you were doing was a John Singleton thing. Well, it was the Coke commercial, then it was music and Sweet Lady and all the stuff. Then I transitioned. I to think acting. of you as more of an actor now, though, than a yeah. singer. So let's I, do a I, scene. I really do. Let's do a scene. All right. I'm just saying. <laughs> let's She's go. Like, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Hold on. Let's go over this, anyway. So I know that you're going through, and we've talked about it on Hot Topics, and I don't know what you can say, but I, I would be wrong if I didn't bring up the custody battle that you're going through. Your, your oldest daughter with your first wife. Yeah is now 12 or 13 years old. 12, yes. 12 years old. And we're not gonna show her picture because this is a very, very legally type no, of weird you can, thing. No, you can show her picture. No, no, I no, no, I, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna be involved. I don't wanna be involved. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know I do, so here I go. <laughs> Look, why, so is the divorce finalized? The divorce been finalized. And uh, so you pay her how much per month? I don't want to get into that. Okay, well, we'll look it up. Norman, look something up. <laughs> um, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. So the divorce is finalized. Now, why are you all fighting over custody? Because it would seem to me that well, the, the best intention of parents, whether you love each other or not. Talk about it. No, I'm not talking. I just look. You know I'm going through some mess right now. I understand. Um, but the best intention for the parents would be the best parents you could possibly be. Yeah. Why are you all fighting over Well, here's custody? the thing. The, the general way to, to speak on it, because again, I can't go into too many particulars. When you have a child and then there's a, there's a situation where there might be a conflict, then you know- Were you, you cheated? Have your, no, when you have your approach to raising a child and they have theirs. And sometimes you're not, you're far from being on the same page. How Everybody long were you married? Has, I, was, I was married to this woman 12 years ago. We but how were long were you less married? Less than a year. Oh, really? Yeah. So she got pregnant like right away? She was pregnant before we got married. Okay. And so you wifed her up to make things right, like a family. Well. And then you got divorced six months later. No. So you have a Starbucks in your backyard and all that stuff we talked about before. You live in a big mansion, everything is sprawling and luxurious. So it only took her six months, and then she's out. No, I mean, here's the thing. Like I said, sometimes you, you get married. Sometimes marriages last as long as yours did, and then it gets to a place. Sometimes it happens faster. I think no one wakes up every day and say, where is pain, where is trauma, where is conflict, and I want to stay in it. So yeah. you could be with someone for a really long time, and then when you finally get married, you realize mm. that it was not the right thing to do. So mm. it wasn't like, oh, I divorced her, and I was dating her six months before I married her. I was with so her for at least eight years. So when's the last time you saw years. your daughter, the 12-year-old? I was just with my baby. Okay. Just with my baby. It would just seem to me 50-50 custody would be the right thing. Yeah. But, you know. Um, now, you and The Rock, and we've talked about this. You don't want to talk about I The Rock. Not, no. We, all right. If, if you want to know how I feel about that man, it's all over the internet. Have fun. <laughs> we've been having fun with it. That's good. Okay. That's good. But, you know, I, I wouldn't be doing my job if I, I didn't ask you. I about but it. I always tell you guys that when people come on the show, I'm going to ask everything, but you always have the right to say no comment. Okay. And so I respect that. Now, let's talk about black and blue. <laughs> All right, so, um, by the way, you're in the process, too, of uh, doing another Fast and Furious movie. I just finished Fast 9, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Norman! Google Schmoogle and find out how he and The Rock got along, because something smells fishy over here. All right? He's not in 9. Oh. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> but uh, oh, and and by the way, congratulations! You have three Marvel films that you just signed on for. Yes. That's huge. That's huge. You're gonna be a superhero. Yes. Are they gonna make you lose weight and lift weights? Yeah, I did all that. Okay. Yeah, it, it happened. It's real. Uh, okay. Um, I right, just Black finished Tar. shooting my third movie in one year. Wow. So, wow. we shot. We shot Black and Blue at the top of the year. Then I went to go do a movie called Morbius, which is the Marvel Comics movie. Uh -huh. 
and then I just finished Fast Nine. So that's so big. Um, I got a double. That's album why I think coming. of you. I, see, I think of you as more of an actor than a singer. I mean, I know you can sing your behind off. I don't off. drop that often. I didn't bend on my knees out here singing in front of your audience. Yeah. I just don't. I don't. I don't drop music that often because I just love it too much. I respect it, and I don't. I don't play with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I can take. See, the way my, the way my brain works. The way my, my my process is like I'll I'll have conversations. I can take this conversation, anything, and it's like a collection plate. I put it all in there, and then when I finally get uninterrupted, I get in my basement. Yes. And I just unload everything onto the, into the album. All right, back to the movie because now yes. Doug is starting to wrap us up. It's all right. It's all no, right. talk about the movie, please. Yes. So <laughs> Black and Blue is the movie that I need y'all to show up for this weekend. Um, we have. Cameras on our phones. We got cameras on every corner. Cameras in cars. We even got the ring where you press the button and you can see who's at your front door. But all of these cameras has not stopped police corruption, people stealing, robbing, excessive force, abuse. It's playing out on our timeline every day to the point where we're almost desensitized. <coughs> so in Hollywood, if you support trash, more trash will continue being made. This movie, it Speaks. takes place in New Orleans. This movie takes place in She's New Orleans. She's the cop. You're just a regular man. I'm a regular dude working in the liquor store right in front of the project. Okay. And she shows up in my store with that clip that you just seen and ends up dragging me into something that I never wanted to be. I got two felonies. I'm in the hood. Yeah. All right, so... Do you end up making love? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. There's no sex scenes? No. Well, anyway, we'll go. I want y'all to support this movie. Black and Blue hit theaters on Friday. Tyrese, always nice to see you.